Hi, it's Ariel, and this is day two of my VNS surgery. So right now you can see that I still have a bandage. I actually went and had it changed today because uh, it was weeping a little bit yesterday, and I was concerned about that it might get too wet and then kind of fester. So I went into urgent care today because I couldn't get a hold of my doctor's office multiple times. And uh, so I went into the Sutter Urgent Care and they changed it. It didn't take forever, which sometimes urgent care takes forever. Um, so it wasn't so bad, but that I wasn't expecting to do. So do know that the bandages, this, it's supposed to stay on until Monday and uh, it's Thursday now. And so I definitely needed to do something about it because um, it was like kind of coming off. So that's that. A um, couple tips uh, I wanted to mention that if you are wear a bra when you go to get the surgery, bring a very comfortable bra for after because you have an incision right here. Danny boy, can you move please? Come on. Okay. Right here. And you need a comfortable bra to wear because you need to eat something easy to put on and something that um, doesn't constrict too much and something that is uh, pretty comfortable. So I would recommend something like a loose sports bra um, that's easy to get on, preferably. So I have a black kind of um, sports bra type thing that is just, it's a little easier to put on and off than a regular sports bra, which is usually pretty tight. But it's still loose enough that it's, I can put it over this and it doesn't hurt. So that's just a reminder um, about that when you go into the surgery. Then also I just, um, today I've had a lot more pain and I'm having trouble swallowing. Um, it's not so much that it's trouble swallowing, it's that it's painful to swallow. I, I can feel the line, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, there's a little, right here, this little, uh, tight strip here. Oh, it hurts. Um, and the line is moving a little bit, so until it gets, uh, very stable, it's, it's irritating me. Um, like just this area and then it, I'm not exactly sure it, it's hard to tell exactly where when it goes down and over but it's definitely um, doing some moving around and then what's been happening with my swallowing is that it's moving a little bit when I swallow and it's also just hurting to swallow so <clears throat> anyway uh, I recommend taking pain meds, continuing taking pain meds, uh, if you need to. I'm on my second day and I still need to. Um, I also have been using high CBD cannabis. I have a spray that I use and, um, for the pain. And then I also use, um, medicinal cannabis smoking it. And that really helps too. So I was able to get to sleep earlier. Another thing is that you don't plan on doing much because I cannot like lift my arm above here and I can't lean down very well and I can't you know I can't pick the I can't pick things up well and every time I move this all hurts and over here too but it all kind of is connected and feels weird I, I realized I couldn't I couldn't be driving because you know, if you have to move quickly or you have to turn around or something, like, you can't do that. So I don't know when I'll be able to drive. And I also realized, like, it's not so easy to cook and it's not, it's really hard to get dressed. Um, I had to have Vanessa help me with getting dressed because uh, I can't get things on over my head and stuff with my arm like this. So make sure you have enough help. Um, because today's day two, I know, but you know, immediately after the surgery, make sure you have people around that can um, 
help you do things like get dressed, help you make meals, you know, simple stuff, or drive you places, um, things that you would normally think that you could do yourself. Um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you an update that it's just painful today and it's impairing my ability to do things. And I'm realizing I'm going to have to really rest and uh, really let this heal for a while. And maybe longer than I thought.